So guys, today we're going to be going over my top three EDC knives. And these are three knives that I've carried for at least over two years. And today we're going to be going over them, talking about why I like these knives so much and what makes them, in my opinion, excellent EDC knives for me in my, me in my lifestyle. So without any further ado, guys, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content. And let's roll into this. Different. So anyways, the three real knives that are my everyday carry knives and my top three EDC knives are these. Now, to kind of explain this as I went into a little bit in the intro, these three knives I've had at least for two years. And these are not knives that, of course, I've carried continuously for two years. Obviously, some of these, like this one, I went like six months without carrying it. But I, I've had these knives for a long time, and I repeatedly go back to them. And these are also knives that I haven't gotten rid of. Like, there have been knives in the past, like the Zero, sorry, the ZT0566, Benchmade Adamus. Great knives. They're excellent quality-wise, just not really fitting my lifestyle or what I personally like in a knife so I've had knives throughout the rotation that have been thrown out or not thrown out but you know like sold traded off given away whatever and those there have been knives that have come and gone but these three here have lasted the test of time and will probably continue to last the test of time into these three knives I'm gonna explain each of them as I go along this is going to be the first knife this is of course the Benchmade 556 as I'm sure some of you guys are aware of this knife if you guys have been around the channel for any time at all you'll know that I really love EDCing this knife and as far as just an overall knife to do everyday carry tasks this is actually probably my absolute favorite knife because the size is perfect the weight is perfect the ergonomics are very comfortable the edge retention of this 154 cm is not the best but it's manageable and honestly i don't have to sharpen it that much so for the most part for a knife that's just opening boxes opening packages opening just a whole bunch of different things whatever i need plus if i had to possibly throw it into a very small defensive situation it probably could do that pretty well i will say the only modification which i have made to this knife is swapping out the clip to a Benchmade Adamus clip. I don't know if some of you guys knew or took advantage of the system a little bit, but a while ago uh, with Benchmade, you could contact them and they would give you, or they could like send you Benchmade Adamus deep carry clips for free. And uh, that's what I did for this knife. So <laughs> I actually got a Benchmade Adamus clip for this knife. And ever since I got that, as you guys can see, this has been carried a lot on this Adamus clip. Not to say that there was anything against the original clip but I think on this knife a deep carry clip suits it really well and the Adamus deep carry clip as you guys can hopefully see here it's not too overexposed uh, it sits really deep or it has the knife sit pretty much flush with your pocket so it exposes only just a little bit of the handle and I really enjoy that once again this knife is fast firing I have slightly tweaked it so that it would be very smooth and so for a lightweight little blade it's very flickable um, it doesn't have a lot of blade weight so it can be a little bit laggy to flip around but it is a very fast very smooth knife and overall it's just really my favorite knife for everyday carry that knife now going on to the second one here and this is the oldest of the three i've had this one for around three years i believe if not more and this is this, of course the classic spyderco paramilitary 2 of course this one's all blacked out with black handle and black blade but this is a really great everyday carry knife because once again just like this knife this is not an aggressive knife but it definitely could be thrown into a defensive situation if you absolutely had to uh, this knife definitely has great edge retention being CPM S30V and lastly like all three of these knives at least in my opinion I think they all look pretty good and this one like I said it's no exception I think it looks pretty freaking awesome so once again paramilitary 2 by spider Co. and I'm sure if you guys are any knife nuts whatsoever you'll be familiar with the Spenza by Chris Reeves Knives. This one is of course a large Sabenza and, and it is in the Insingo grind. Once again, as I mentioned, a lot of uh, 
As I mentioned in a lot of videos where I end up talking about this knife, I really freaking love this Insingo grind. It is just an amazing blade style. I think it is a really beautiful blade style and I don't see why more people don't go for the Insingo grind. I think it is just gorgeous as all get out. And I thought that since day one, even when I was getting it, in fact, when I was originally getting my Sabenza, I was about to get a normal drop point, just standard run of the mill Sabenza, but I was like, wait, 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 how about I get the Insingo grind just to play around with it and, you know, just see what it looks like in real life. Worst case scenario, I can always return it and get another one. But once I got this Insingo grind, I was like, wow, that's a pretty knife. So for me, this definitely is more of like a knife for knife nuts. It really doesn't do things so much better than something really basic like this or even like this, but the execution in this knife, the way it looks, that kind of second cool is really high for me. This is also a knife that ever since I really got into knives, I had always wanted a Sabenza. And so when I could get one, I was like, I jumped on it. So. That's pretty much how I got this event. I've been carrying it pretty much every month. Not every single month, but for the most part, pretty much every month. As far as its performance goes, it is not just a looker. This knife is very good at EDC tasks, even semi-tactical tasks. This knife, even it's an in its Insingo grind style is very pointed and very sharp. They actually leave or they grind this upper swedge here. It is not technically sharp, like sharp enough to cut you, but there is not much it's metal here and it is very, very sharp. Uh, as far as unsharpened things go. It could be easily sharpened or just apply very well to being very good at piercing. So it still is quite good and quite uh, capable in that role. The ergonomics, though they are really basic, they're not really like advanced like something like this, but they're very basic and kind of stick-like, but I find that they work really well in just a plethora of different cutting circumstances and tasks, so I find them to be great. Of course, the fluidness of this knife is just amazing. As you guys can see, kind of trying to hold the uh, tension off the lock bar so that it can move of its own accord, but it's very smooth, very clean action, and year after year and month after month, this knife continues to be an amazing knife. And uh, something else that I really like about this knife that actually really neither of these two knives show is just the sheer wear of this knife. It may not come out super well in video, but this thing actually has loads of scratches and scrapes that are just really just skin deep because obviously this is titanium, so you're not really going to be able to scratch it that deep, but just loads of wear and it just makes the knife look so much better and gives it a lot of unique character. And so as far as it goes, why I continue to put this knife back in my pocket month after month is I like the weight, I like the ergonomics, I like the way the blade performs, edge retention, I've never had to sharpen this thing, it just keeps on going and the way that this hollow ground is ground, it just really slices through things, especially things like plastics and papers, really, really effortlessly. So that is the primary reason why this ends up in my pocket month after month. The primary reason this one ends up in my pocket month after month, not always continuously, is because I love the ergonomics. The size is another great thing. And overall, the performance, this full flat grind, really does a good job at slicing through most materials. The CPM S30V, much like the CPM S35VN on this one, both of these hold edge pretension pretty similarly. And that being said, that's a really great thing. That means I don't have to sharpen these knives much at all. So pretty much you can just use them and forget about it, which is what I really like. And the reason why this one keeps finding its way into my pocket is I love its size a lot. I, I like these larger knives to run as a companion, as you guys will know in a lot of my EDC videos, I usually run a larger knife and a smaller knife, but for that whole system to work, there needs to be a smaller knife and a larger knife. So this usually is that smaller knife, and I love the size of it. It's a very unobtrusive 
expensive knife to pull out because it's not big, especially like this one. When you pull it out in a setting that's not super friendly, it doesn't come out super scary. There's no springs to it. It's not a super menacing knife, but yet it does its job very, very well. I love the weight. The ergonomics are amazing. The way it fits in my hand is just barely enough. You can see there's like no overhang here at all. And so it fits in my hand perfectly. And overall, there's just something about a mini grip where I do have a full size grip and I do occasionally carry it. But the mini grip, there's just something about it that I really enjoy. And especially since it's a deep carry, it just sits in the pocket and it really is just hidden away until I need it. And it's a very trustable knife. I know that whenever I need it, it's gonna be ready. Anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this a quick look at my top three knives, kind of seen why I carry what I carry and the reasons why I like these three knives above most other knives. Um, as always guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.